Hey everyone, who doesn't wanna make their fire stick faster? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a really simple two-step process to increase the speed and performance of your Amazon Fire Stick. We're gonna do that all in today's video. Stay tuned. All right, as I mentioned in the intro, there is just two simple steps that you need to do to be able to increase the speed of your Fire Stick. Now, I'm not talking about things like Wi-Fi speed that has everything to do with the service that you're paying for, the router that you're using, or the location of your Fire Stick. This is simply processing speed. So I do already have videos on how to speed up your network, and I also have videos on storage issues. So if you want to clear cache or you want to clear those old apps you're not using or expand your storage, I already have those videos. This is simply processing speed, but it's a very, very important to the success of your Fire Stick. So what is the first step that you want to do? Well, if, have you ever noticed when you go down and start highlighting over your different apps on your Fire Stick that it automatically plays at the top of the screen like that right there? Just go to your next movie and there it starts to play. You realize the task of that actually happening by highlighting it over and it's starting that autoplay will slow down your Fire Stick because your Fire Stick is very, very small and it is trying to process that. So how do you get rid of that? It's called featured content. Well, you're gonna go into settings right over here on the far right hand column. Go down to preferences right here. When you click on preferences, you're gonna go down to your featured content and this is where you're gonna turn that off. Just by turning that one little setting off will increase the performance of your Fire Stick significantly. So the first one is turn off that featured content video playing at the top of your screen because again, those Fire Sticks are very small. Now if you're using one of the newer Fire TVs or one of the Fire Cubes, you don't need to turn this off because it already has a better processor. But if you have an older Fire Stick or even the new Fire, Fire Stick 4K Max will slow down by having that auto play feature on. So go ahead and turn that off. Now if you go back home, we're going to quickly talk about the second. And this is without question the most important. You realize that when you open up all of these apps that you have on your Fire Stick, and there's tons of apps. Look at all these apps I have here. If you look on this Fire Stick here, I've got tons of apps. Well, every time you open up one of these apps, it doesn't close unless you close it. A lot of people don't realize that, but just by opening it at any point, it could be months ago and never used it again, it never closes until you manually close it. A lot of people think you turn your TV off or get out of the app or even restart your Fire Stick closes it. Well, it doesn't, guys. It's still there. Just to show you an example of that, some I've used this Fire Stick for demos for about a month now and I haven't closed any background apps on it because I knew I was going to be doing this video. This app right here called Background Apps and Processes will actually show me on this Fire Stick what is running in the background. And not only that, it'll allow me to close it right there within the app. So how do you get that app? Well, it's a free app. It comes in the Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Fire Store, App Store, excuse me, the Fire TV App Store. All you need to do is just search for it and then you're gonna go, you're just gonna type in background apps and processes. Once you do the first three letters, it should show up, it's right there. So this is the app you want. Go ahead and click on that and that's what the icon looks like. Again, it's background apps and process list. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what it looks like. So it automatically will process through and tell you all the apps that are open. I have all these apps open right now, guys. And uh, to be honest with you, I haven't used but maybe one or two of them in the last week and a half, two weeks. So these are old ones that I opened at some point while I was using this. Some of these might even be older than a month, like the Weather Channel or Bravo. Uh, so how do you close them? Well, it's really easy. You can close multiples right here. Like if you wanna keep your VPN open for some reason, you can certainly do that. You don't have to close it, or you can just close all apps. So by closing all apps, if you click on close all apps, all you, it'll just basically pull it up. It's just an easy way to pull it up in settings. And all you're going to do is just force stop it like that. Then if you hit the back button on your remote control, it goes to the next one and you're gonna say force stop. Again, hit the back button, force stop, and you're just gonna go through this over and over again until all of the apps are closed. So we'll just do that really, really fast here. Again, it just force stop it, really, really simple. And that's what you want to see. You want to see no apps are open right there. So that's just going to improve the performance of your Fire Stick. Think of it like your phone or your computer because that's really what a Fire Stick is. It's just a little phone or a computer. Uh, basically, how well is it going to run if you had hundreds of apps or 200 apps or 300 apps running on your phone or your computer at the same time or even 30 in some cases? 
I mean, think about it. Your phones and your computers are a lot more powerful than this tiny little Fire Stick. And your Fire Stick is something that a lot of people use daily to, to stream, to actually access all these great apps. Some play games with it. Some people just watch movies or TV. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. But think about how small it is compared to your phone or your computer. So it's not gonna be able to process a lot at the same time, so you have to make sure you close those. So this is a, a must-have app. It's called the Background Apps and Process List. It is an Amazon certified app. It is in the Amazon App Store. Feel free to download it. I'm curious to see how many apps you had running on your Fire Stick. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and comment. Let me know how many you had running. I'm just curious who had the most. Uh, last time I did a video on this background apps of processes, one person had over 200 apps, and I, I don't know how they had 200 apps on their Fire Stick to begin with, to be honest with you, but they said they had 200. So I'm curious what the most is this time. So go ahead and do that for me. Comment down below in the comment section of this video and just let me know how many you had running when you ran this process. I think a lot of people don't realize that it is you do have to close it manually. It's not an automatic closing kind of a situation, so that's unfortunate. I wish Amazon had an automatic close, uh, but they don't, so uh, this is what you have to do. It's a great app, so check it out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something today. Hopefully you did, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little thumbs up right down below as well if you like this video. Just as a reminder, guys, these Fire Sticks are so small. I mean, you compare this to your phone or a computer, or tablet, whatever. The processor is going to be small. It's not going to be able to handle a lot. So if you follow the steps that I shared in this video, you should see a vast improvement on your Fire Stick and performance overall. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, everybody.